The single most successful IPO so far in 2025 has been that of artificial intelligence data center company CoreWeave. The IPO was conducted in late March. CoreWeave shares were initially priced at $40 each, valuing the company at $18 billion. Just two months later, the stock prices almost quadrupled to $155, valuing the company at $71 billion. CoreWeave operates data centers that power AI workloads, demand for which has surged over the past few years. For example, OpenAI uses CoreWeave to power ChatGVD. As one of the biggest AI beneficiaries, CoreWeave has unsurprisingly seen its revenue surge. In the first quarter of 2025, CoreWeave generated $981 million of revenue, a 400% increase versus a year ago period. Despite the strong revenue growth, the company reported an operating loss of $27 million. In this video, we'll look at how CoreWeave set itself up as a leader in AI computing, and why, despite its massive revenue growth, the company is still losing money. I'm always trying to find new ways to incorporate AI into my daily life to improve productivity. The simplest and most effective AI tool i found so far comes from today's sponsor, Plod. Plod Note is a smart note taker that uses the power of GPT-40 to capture, transcribe, summarize, and analyze audio recordings. Say you're having a long conversation with your colleague. Plod will record the conversation and make notes with customizable templates such as structured summary, highlight key points, offer chapters and topics, to-dos, etc. so you can go back after the fact to review the key details from the conversation. Here's how it works. You simply press the record button on the Plod device, then let it record whatever audio you want. It automatically sends the audio to your phone, where you can have it create a transcript of the audio and use generative AI to automatically generate summarized notes for the transcript. Here's the transcript it created of some audio I recorded with the Plod note. Along with a standard transcript, it also creates a really nice summary of the content of the audio recording, complete with key points and takeaways. It also automatically builds a mind map of the recording, so if you're a visual person, you can easily see the structure of the recording. But my favorite feature is the Analyze AI functionality, where you can ask any question about the content of the audio and it will retrieve the information for you in a concise answer. It actually works really well. It's such an amazing tool because you now never need to worry about taking notes or forgetting important pieces of information. You also don't have to worry about your audio data being sold or misused, because it's all safeguarded by AWS. So if you're tired of forgetting important details from conversations or looking for a smarter way to stay focused, make sure to check out Plot with our link in the description below. And now back to the video. What would become CoreWeave was founded in New Jersey in 2017, but at first it wasn't called CoreWeave. It was called Atlantic Crypto, and their primary business was Ethereum mining. Unlike Bitcoin mining, which uses application-specific integrated circuits, Ethereum mining uses GPUs, such as those made by NVIDIA. In 2018, the trading price of Ethereum collapsed from a peak of $1,300 to just $85. At such low prices, it was no longer possible to mine Ethereum profitably. So now, Atlantic Crypto had a huge inventory of GPUs collecting dust. So they changed their name to CoreWeave and started using their GPUs to provide computing services to external customers. GPUs can be used for many things, such as rendering complex graphics and animations. They are also used by scientific researchers in the fields of physics and chemistry to run simulations. But of course, the most significant use case for GPU computing is artificial intelligence. Even before the rise of generative AI in ChatGPT, AI was being used for numerous applications. Even things as seemingly mundane as Netflix's personalized recommendations are powered by AI algorithms that need to be trained. The release of ChatGPT in 2022 caused an explosion of demand for AI computing, both to train and run new large language models. CoreWeave was in a perfect position to benefit from this. Seeing the opportunity, CoreWeave raised billions of dollars and quickly started building dozens of new data centers across the United States and Europe. In 2022, CoreWeave generated $16 million of revenue. In 2023, they generated $229 million. In 2024, $1.9 billion. In the first quarter of 2025 alone, they generated $981 million, more than half of what they generated in the entire year of 2024. To call growth meteoric would be an understatement. So where exactly is all this revenue coming from? Microsoft has a $10 billion strategic investment in ChatGPT maker OpenAI. The main purpose for this strategic relationship is for Microsoft to provide computing power for OpenAI and train and run its AI models. Microsoft indeed has a massive network of data centers around the world, but OpenAI's demand for computing power was so large that it was difficult for even Microsoft to handle. OpenAI had very specific data center needs. They needed access to large quantities of NVIDIA's latest and most powerful GPUs. 
it would take time for Microsoft to build out this capacity on its own. So in the meantime, they decided to contract a lot of this out to CoreWeave, which was much quicker to scale up its AI-focused data centers. In 2023, 35% of CoreWeave's revenue came from Microsoft. In 2024, 62%. In the first quarter of 2025, a whopping 72% of CoreWeave's revenue came from Microsoft. When you have a single customer accounting for almost three quarters of your revenue, that's never a good situation to be in. What happens if they decide to leave? In early 2025, the Financial Times reported that Microsoft was canceling some of its contracts with CoreWeave. Microsoft had grown frustrated by delivery issues and missed deadlines for new computing capacity that CoreWeave was supposed to deliver to them. Part of the reason for these missed deadlines is difficulty securing enough of NVIDIA's most advanced GPUs. CoreWeave isn't the only company trying to build out AI data centers, not by a long shot. Demand for NVIDIA's GPUs is currently greater than NVIDIA's ability to produce them, thus leading to long wait times. In the longer term, Microsoft likely wants to move more of its AI computing in-house instead of outsourcing it to CoreWeave. By outsourcing, Microsoft gives up some profit margin. Given that Microsoft already operates one of the largest networks of data centers in the world, they certainly have the technical competence to bring all of this in-house. But this could take some time. With that being said, demand for AI compute is currently so high that CoreWeave likely won't have trouble utilizing its data centers for the near future. AI startups who lack their own data centers will still need to outsource computing to companies like CoreWeave. While Microsoft makes up the majority of CoreWeave's revenue, revenue from other customers is also increasing. In the first quarter of 2025, they made $275 million from customers other than Microsoft. This is an increase of 117% compared to the first quarter of 2024. Recently, OpenAI signed a deal to purchase up to $4 billion worth of computing services from CoreWeave over the next four years. Historically, OpenAI has mostly used Microsoft for its data center needs. In doing so, they were already indirectly using CoreWeave services, as Microsoft was effectively using CoreWeave as a subcontractor. As Microsoft appears to be moving away from CoreWeave, OpenAI wants to establish a direct relationship with them. The fact that OpenAI wants to use CoreWeave instead of the established hyperscalers is a major vote of confidence. In 2024, CoreWeave reported an operating profit of $324 million, or 17% of revenue. In the first quarter of 2025, their revenue grew massively. Despite this, they swung to a net loss of $27 million. So why did they lose money despite their revenue growing? The IPO triggered various bonuses paid to senior executives and other employees. As a result of these one-time bonuses, CoreWeave incurred $184 million of stock-based compensation expense. Excluding stock-based compensation, they would have made an operating profit of $157 million, or 16% of revenue. We can also gain some interesting insights about CoreWeave's economics by looking at their cash flow numbers. In both 2023 and 2024, CoreWeave generated substantial cash flows from operating activities. $1.8 billion in 2023 and $2.7 billion in 2024. In 2023, their operating cash flow was actually greater than their revenue because they received massive prepayments from Microsoft for computing services to be delivered in the future. While CoreWeave generated a lot of cash, they spent far more than this on capital expenditures $2.9 billion in 2023 and $8.7 billion in 2024. These capital expenditures mostly consisted of buying Nvidia's GPUs, which are very expensive. CoreWeave borrowed money to fund these purchases. By the time they went public, they had $8.7 billion worth of debt. Part of the reason they did the IPO is to raise money to help pay off their massive debt load. They raised $1.5 billion from the IPO. The biggest cost of an AI data center is the upfront capital expenditures. You spend a lot of money upfront. Over time, you hope to make enough profits to make back your initial investment. But the GPUs don't last forever. Eventually, they need to be replaced. CoreWeave depreciates its GPUs based on estimated useful life of 6 years. NVIDIA releases new generations of data center GPUs approximately once every 2 years. Once the new generations come out, the old generations may become obsolete for training the largest new AI models. The latest and greatest NVIDIA GPU is the B100, which was released in 2024. It can process 4,000 teraflops of data per second and has 192 gigabytes of memory. The previous generation is the H100, which was released in 2022. It can process about 2,000 teraflops per second and has 80 gigabytes of memory. So the new generation is twice as fast and has more than double the memory. The greater memory means the B100 can train larger AI models with more training data. AI startups like OpenAI, Claude, and others are competing against each other to develop the most capable large language models. 
Part of this involves adding more and more training data, which requires more and more memory. Older generations of GPUs don't immediately become useless after a new one is released. They can still be used to train smaller models or be used to operate AI models that have already been trained. But being no longer able to train cutting-edge large language models, they become less useful and you can't charge as much money for their use. For its part, CoreWeave has no intention of slowing down anytime soon. They expect AI-related demand to continue increasing in the foreseeable future. They plan to invest another $23 billion in 2025 to build new data centers. The majority of this will go to purchasing NVIDIA GPUs. While CoreWeave's growth has undoubtedly been impressive, it's likely too early to say how profitable a company can be at scale. Their revenue only started increasing in 2023, shortly after the release of ChatGPT, so it's only been a little over two years. They've spent many billions of dollars on NVIDIA GPUs. We'll have to wait and see how quickly they become obsolete, and how much it will eventually cost to replace them. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. What do you think about CoreWeave? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.